wrong, Ted? Julia's grilling Haley. Right, things were bad enough before. I would only imagine that she's doing her job. Wait a second. You knew she was defending Jake? Yes. Cruz enlisted Julia because he does not believe that Jake is the one who raped Haley. Oh, this is great. It, you know, this is the last thing she needs right now to feel like everybody doubts her. Now, wait a second. Okay, Haley is not the one who pointed the finger at Jake. You should remember that. So you agree with, with Cruz and Julia then, huh? Yes, I do. I know Jake, Eden. You don't know this guy. Jake raped my wife. And you're on his side no, against hey, us. No, I'm not taking any sides here, but you got to know. I don't even want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. You know, you would accuse Haley of making up this whole story if Cruz decided that's what happened. Oh, now that's I, not forget true. It. How dare you, Ted? I don't want to hear any more about Jake and his reported innocence. You don't even know the facts, Mason. The fact is, the man raped my sister-in-law, Julia. Now, I don't know if there's some reason, some mental deficiency that makes a man commit a crime like that, but that's no excuse for what you've done to Haley. You know, there's obviously no point in discussing this. Be careful. Julia? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm fine. Maybe we should call the doctor. No. Mason, what's Dr. Goodell's number? No, what's the big deal? I mean, she, unless you worry about a negligence suit from her, which wouldn't surprise me, considering her clientele of late. Mason, she could have been hurt. I mean, she, she could It's all right. I'm okay. I'm sorry. Obviously, we're all just on edge. Yeah. Thanks, anyway. Any luck with Andy Gotti? Oh, well, I put out some feelers, but it looks like Jake's alibi has literally gone out the window. Oh, well, maybe not. You know something I don't? Well, Julia's talking to Haley. Showed her the results of Jake's polygraph, so maybe Haley will start thinking. That might be the only shot we got right now. <sighs> Darling, what else? Oh, Ted's furious with me. He thinks I'm betraying him and Haley. <sighs> Well, maybe you should keep your distance from this. Maybe you shouldn't be helping me out on this No, case. no, I want to. Well, I, I know that, but if your family is going to come between you and them, it doesn't seem worth it. You're my family. You're my home. You sure? I'm just not so sure about the rest of them. This thing might just tear us all apart. Julian? Hey. Are you all right? I was really worried about you when you started to fall. Thank you. I'm fine. Look, I know you're discouraged, but you shouldn't worry. You know, Cruz hasn't given up until he'll find Dottie. <laughs> I know. I know I can count on Cruz. Did you and Mason have another fight after I left? You know, you, you can't let it get to you. Everybody knows that you're doing the right thing, and Mason can kind of be a jerk sometimes, but he knows that you're just doing what you have to do. You'll come around in the end, you'll see. Right, yeah. Plaid pants and a Dodger baseball cap, and I want to understood this woman is not in any trouble. I just want to talk to her. Yeah, well, you know your way around down there, so I figure... Yes, can I help you? Where's Cruz? Uh, he's on the phone. Can I ask him who is here? Is no he... names. Thanks, you know where to reach me. Wait a second, you're so... Hey, 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 come on in, come on in, come on, it's okay. Take it easy. What is it, you got something for me? Man. All right, look. What, what? Well, your friend, uh, Dottie, pawned a silver do thingy at, uh, Clooney's for the price of a one-way bus ticket to Vegas. That's the compact I gave you. It's gotta be. Vegas? All right, man, listen. You did a great job. All right. Yeah. See ya. Bye, Sal. I guess I financed a trip to Las Vegas, huh? Yeah, all we gotta do now is follow your money. We call him. Uh, yeah, this is Inspector Castillo. Please put me through to the DA immediately. Irene, I... It's 4.30. You know where your secretary is? <sighs> well, if it isn't the inspector and his inspectorette. Listen, I know the lounging space is a little short around we here. We were just but waiting I... on you, Keith. I wasn't aware we had an appointment. Listen, why don't you make one with my secretary when she returns from her break? Irene is on a permanent break. She told us to make ourselves at home. 
We could put gum under the chairs for all she cared was what she actually said, I believe. What are you talking about? On her way out, she told us to tell you that she is putting in for all the overtime at her work. Oh, and for you not to call anymore, that she's throwing out your toothbrush. She said the uh, woman who's moving a in with you... was the expression she used, I think. ...can buy you a new one. Oh, and she left a note for you on your desk. I don't think it should take too long for you to read. It's only two words. Irene's not even up there. She walked. What are you doing here? Get out. Well, I just came to... Out, out, not out, like out on the sidewalk, out. Now, go! So you have business? We found someone who can give Jake Morton an alibi. Well, how convenient. Who is this? Her name is Dottie. She and Jake were hanging out together on Lower State Street at the same time Haley was raped miles away. Ah, uh, and she was too shy to come in and give this information herself. Well, she's not available at the moment, but she will be soon, we're sure. And where does she live? What does she do besides some hang around State Street? She's a bag lady, Keith. Jake described her, we found her, she remembered him, but she's a little phobic about the police. And how much booze did you have to give her to ply this information out? Absolutely none. Their stories match up. Then bring her in. She's on her way to Las Vegas right now, so we can't. Of course, we will as soon as we catch up with her. In the meantime, Eden and I are more than willing, eager, if you will, to sign affidavits as witnesses to her story. Well, that's swell of you, but I don't need any second-hand affidavits here. I already got one. First-hand affidavit from uh, Haley, and that'll be enough to get a conviction. Are you deaf or what? I just told you there's a good reason to believe that Jake Morton is innocent. Keith, all we need to do is find Dottie. Well, you can do whatever you want. But your boyfriend here is not going to get one cent of the taxpayers' money to go after a wine. I'll, I'll simplify this. You're off the case. Uh, we'll see what the commissioner has to say about uh, Listen, uh, Castillo, if you're thinking about going over my head, don't do it. I'll make you pay for it. I mean, I, I know you have pull with higher-ups through your girlfriend's daddy here. Why waste on a nobody like Jake Morton? He ain't worth it. You are such a lost cause. Let's get out of here. Hi. Hi. Mason said you called and wanted to talk to me. Yes, please come in. I hope it wasn't inconvenient. Oh, no, not at all. I was out doing some shopping. So what's going on? Well, um... I've been thinking about what you were talking about, about throwing that wedding for your friends, that surprise wedding. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking it might really work with my parents. Would you mind talking to me about it? Sure. So we made up this big elaborate story that one of us was throwing out a dinner party for a very famous European director. So they were all dressed, they were all dressed up for that and they didn't realize that this was going to be their wedding. Um, let me see, is there anything else that you need to remember? Oh, yeah, whether or not you have a judge or a minister or whatever, make sure that they don't call the house before the ceremony. Arrange for some kind of a private number, okay? Um, I guess that's it. Well, uh, thank you. You've been a big help. I'm glad. Um, I'd like to do something else. Maybe flowers? Or... Oh, no, no, you don't need to do anything like that. I mean, we have a very big garden at our house. Oh, of course. Oh, well, then it was music invitations you know the more people that no 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 really victoria honest i'll give everybody in the family something to handle after all you're the one who brought up the original idea so all you need to do is show up and be one of the guests hi 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 please hi tori victoria was just giving me some information on throwing a surprise wedding Surprise wedding. Well, that's uh, one way of making sure nobody backs out. <laughs> I don't think there'll be a chance of that. I doubt it either. Um, I've got a lot of things to do. If you have any questions, call. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. See you. Yeah, see you. you surprised? About you and Tori brainstorming? Not really. I mean, I know she's been trying to make a niche for herself and the family, and something tells me you decided to give her a little boost, am I right? Yeah, I guess that's what's happening. Gotta tell you, though, it's kind of strange. It's gonna take some time. No, it couldn't be any other way. Come here, you sweet thing. 
know what I am. You're the sweetest thing I know. Mm -hmm. Baby, how long would it take you to get ready for a trip to Las Vegas? You're joking. Did the commissioner... He backed me all the way. I'm on the case. All right. Oh, I'm so happy to leave. I'm happy for Jake. When do we leave? Well, just a second. Yeah. Cruise Castillo? That's me. Sorry, Okay. You go. Thanks a lot. You bet. What is it? I don't know. It's Who's from the know? Attorney General. What? What is this? Well, what are they saying? Well, this has got to be some kind of mistake. It says that I'm... They're sending me on immediate assignment. To Montana. What do you think? Are you going to help us carry it off? Well, sure. It's a perfect answer to the age-old question. What do you give the man who has everything? A new bride. I'll be happy to help. So Victoria got back to you, huh? Uh, yes, she did. She was very helpful. We talked a long time. She gave me a lot of information. Oh, sweet of you to uh, call her. Well, I'm trying, Mason. I appreciate that. <sighs> what do you want me to do? Well, look, most of the arrangements are all taken care of. But the invitations, you have a way with words. What do you think? Well, sure. I can even have uh, Victoria design a little motif for us. She's very handy that way. Well, actually, I didn't want to get that elaborate. Uh, there's really not much time. Well, we'll keep it simple then. Look, I think this should be an intimate event. I think it should just be the family that should handle it. Victoria is family now, Eden. I mean the immediate family, Mason. I see. Is that what you told her? No. I thanked her for her information. I was very appreciative. Mason, she's going to be one of the wedding guests. I see. Well, since I'm only your half-brother and Sophia's stepson, maybe I don't qualify as immediate family either. Don't do this to me, please. Don't do what, Eden? You're trying to make me feel guilty because I can't love Victoria I'm not as if asking she were my sister. you to love her, Eden. I just don't want you to go out of your way to hurt her. I'm not. I didn't. You called her up. You discussed plans, pumped her for information, and then told her politely, I'm sure, to stay out of it. Did you build her up just so you could knock her back down? Of course not. Well, maybe you weren't conscious of what you were doing. I was conscious of what I was doing every second. I made a friendly gesture to a woman who tried once to hurt me very badly because she's married to my brother. Now, that may not be enough for you, but it was the hardest thing I ever had to do. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. It's a sensitive area, that's all. Well, not just for you. I'm not a perfect person, Mason. And it's going to take me some time before I can get used to your new wife. Eden. I love you, Mason. Let's talk about this another time. Hi, am I late? Back to just a few minutes. Oh, no, baby, you're right on time, but it turns out that I can't take you with me to Montana. Montana? I thought that was a mistake. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it is, but as far as the Office of the Attorney General is concerned, I am the, quote, only man for the job, unquote. Something's wrong there. The commissioner wants you to stay on the rape case, and then all of a sudden Sacramento sends you to Montana? Yeah, well, I think it's really pretty easy to figure out. Keith. Yeah. Except that I really can't do anything about it. I gotta go. Well, why can't we do something about it? I mean, Keith's not the only guy who's got friends in the Capitol. I can call Daddy. No, I no, mean... no, Eden. Really, we gotta draw the line somewhere. I, I'm a cop. I gotta play by the rules. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we have to just drop Jake's case, do we? Well... I mean, we, we've gotta go find Dottie. I know. I, I, this isn't gonna last forever. I'll try to stop by Las Vegas somewhere along the line. I should have known. You're smarter than I give you credit for. When do you leave? Leave tonight. Right away, in fact. Well, that's about it, I guess. Pack your favorite razor? Yes, I did. Socks? Plenty. Did you take a warm sweater with you? Come on now, pal. 
What? It gets cold in Montana. You're stalling. So? So I'm only going to be gone. I know. It's just not time yet. I just got you back. Maybe in five or ten years. That soon? I don't do good when you're not around. I mean, I look okay and I sound okay, but my heart's not in it. You keep your heart home where it belongs. Because even when I'm away, my heart is here. 